let's take a moment and discern the spirits. Where in this story are the Holy Spirit or the angelic spirits or the demonic spirits? Now we can see the human actors. We see Tom Perez, who's the DNC chair. We see Congressman Durbin from Illinois. We see a former uh, Democrat Congressman, Bart Stupak, and they're all having this internal disagreement. Of course, the Archbishop of New York, Timothy Dolan weighs in. They all have their human opinions. But where, do, where does God's opinion on this? Where is the Spirit of God influencing some of these people to do what is right? Or where is the devil influencing them to do what is wrong? And of course, we believe angels are messengers from God that may whisper in our ear from time to time. The way you can tell where those invisible spirits are is by looking at the human morality of the human actors involved according to the biblical lens of moral ethics, right and wrong. So if the Bible says that something is sin or wrong or says you know life begins at conception or, or life begins in the womb, now, and that's a biblical truth, and it's a sin to commit acts of murder against innocent children, then you can tell who the demonic spirits are, or at least who they're influencing, when you see people like Tom Perez and Dick Durbin saying, not only shall we kill innocent children as a matter of policy, citing Roe versus Wade, not only shall we use American taxpayer dollars to pay for the shedding of innocent blood, but if you're not demonic like we are, you can't be a Democrat like we are. They are now welcoming and, and claiming, I hope this is not true, but they're claiming that every Democrat in America must be demon possessed as they are in order to be faithful to the views of their party. And if you, if you don't serve the devil, you can't be a good Democrat. Is, I'm paraphrasing, but that is what they're saying, isn't it? Now on the other side, thank God, for the Spirit of God speaking through Bishop Timothy Dolan and Father Frank Pavone and even Bart Stupak, who was one of the last compromisers on Obamacare. I disagree with him politically on that, but thank God that he is standing up within his own party against the demonic spirit of murder and standing for the principle of life. You gentlemen are being influenced and in manifesting the Holy Spirit of God. The Bible says this in Psalm 106, they, even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons and shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and daughters whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan and the land was polluted with blood. Let's pray about this. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray against the evil that is inside some people. We don't pray against the people. Father, we bless the people. We even bless those who curse us. We bless even our political adversaries and enemies. Father, we ask that you would bless them with repentance so that the devil, our true enemy, would come out of them and they would be converted and saved and forgiven of their heinous sins. Father, we pray for their salvation. We pray for the redemption of the Democrat party. We pray that every Democrat in America will repent of evil doing and child murder and come to faith in Jesus Christ who said, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. We pray this blessing upon them in Jesus' name, amen.